It doesn't create again? Ah, a same instance that will be uh, not possible. But I was thinking fragment actually here. If you do a on create view, then on create view, you will subscribe to the subject. Right? You have the network code that goes to the subject, then on create view, you subscribe to it and you will get back the previous value and the future one. Say you have a chain of four or five calls, which would happen now, but the other is there a way where you can cancel the entire chain on the operation? Uh, so here. I'm oh, sorry. This one is the. So you see when I make the call here, I do get markets, uh, toast on error, and show markets, get the details, subscribe, and subscribe returns the subscription. And this subscription I added to uh, something I created, subscription list. And this subscription list is created at the beginning. Right? And it is unsubscribed at the end. I don't know why I have this. Anyway, it's unsubscribed at the end. And so this subscription list, as the, as the name implies, it's a list of subscriptions. And when you call this, all of them will be uh, removed, and means all the change will be uh, cancelled. All of them. Which brings me actually to. Another example. So, are you familiar with the animator? There is something. Uh, there is animator listener adapter, which is an interface that has six calls. Okay, so it informs you on the state of the animator. So, here the exercise is to transform these six calls into an observable with six different types of objects. So how to do? These are the six different calls. It's not exactly the calls, but it's the different types of calls. Six of them. And because each call is actually one method plus the animator. Right? You notice that it's the name, cancel, end, repeat, start, and always they pass the animator. So it's only logical that we create an object that takes those two things, the animator and the uh, state. And by these two elements, you get a field that will describe the callbacks. Okay? And this is what we will do here. So when when we get callback on a cancel, we will pass the new animator state events with the value and the state cancel. And we repeat stupidly, cancel and repeat. And here we transform a callback into an observable. But just like for the dialogue now, we need to set this callback to the animator. And that's what we do here. OK, let's come back to the This is observable. I create an observable by using unsubscribe. Okay. And this will be created when this one is called, when the observable is necessary. Just like for that dialog. So when it's necessary, we add the listener to the to the animator. But the problem here, we need to remove the listener when it's no longer necessary. Okay? Because otherwise we will get calls, 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 and then uh, crash. Okay. So this is the purpose of 
subscription is not created here. We will create a little action, action zero because it doesn't take any parameter, and it only does see remove listener. It will remove the listener when when the subscriber. So this is a strange annotation, but it's to say that when the subscriber is asked to unsubscribe, then do this. So when you remove, when you take, remove the whole chain, this one will happen, and then this you remove. You no longer get any callback. So this is the equivalent of set listener to now that I was talking about. But because you encapsulate uh, remove listener inside here, you don't have to worry elsewhere. Oh, how do I remove the listener? And which listener was it? Right? Because maybe you lost the reference. Instead of asking all these questions, just do and subscribe. That's a big advantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tipping over. Mm -hmm. Any This is time. Yeah, I know. So no reordering. And okay. you want to like a stack. If you want to reorder, that would be a transformation. Uh, have, you, have you done this kind have of like, have you done this kind of reordering in the very high frequency environment? Uh, high frequency, no. You know, it's on Android, so high frequency is uh, three, four calls a second. <laughs> I don't know how you would transform a network into observables, but that makes me think that actually, if you could wrap web sockets yeah. on the client side with observables, that that would be the same thing in conceptually in effect. Right? You get objects when uh, they come. Actually, this was uh, the Java implementation was uh, done by uh, Netflix, so server side, because they needed to take from many places, and we do also on our application. We have a monster one where we need uh, eight different calls. So we describe that we need the all eight, and when we have partially, then we do something. Very convenient also, you can work on partial information when A is before B, and, or B is before A. If you have now and A, then you have B and A. There are so many operators that cannot cover it tonight. Alright, thank you, Xavier. Thank you.